Hi everybody, I hope you're keeping well and I um, hope you're enjoying the sunshine. I'm going to show you this afternoon how to make a bridal hair comb. Now this is a fairly easy one to do, but you can also add the tiara twist to this, which will give you a, a fuller head comb, one with different bridal techniques in. Um, you can always find those on our tutorials as well. This is another design that you can add to your bridal. And this is a heart shape, and that is in, that. this is what I've made with, um, this particular kit and you can also use the tiara twist to make this so there's loads of different makes that you can make different designs with the tiara technique and with some basic um like what i'm going to show you now which will allow you to be able to maybe make your bridal combs or if you want to make a comb for the children or or for a present so here we go so that's how it is it's it's actually got two rows to it I'm going to show you how to start the first row, which you will need some 0.4 wire, which we have got on the show today. And you just put it on the end there and then just wrap it round, okay? Just so that you've got a hook on the end of the comb. Okay, so that's enough. Then get one of the larger pearls one of the larger pearls and this is also a good way if you want to make jewellery for an up and coming wedding in the future of being able to make it yourself saves a lot of expense so just pop on the first which is one of the larger pearls and just get a hook on there and just bring it back round again and back up and down and then up again so it allows you to put your your next pearl on now I'm putting one of the smaller pearls on now so I do a larger pearl and a smaller pearl and then on the next row I'll show you what we have to do when we've done a few of these whoops sorry about that just knock the camera so that looks like a bigger one, but I don't think it is. It's just, I think some of them have got muddled up. There we go, that's a smaller one. So you, you alternate with a larger pearl and a smaller pearl. There we go. So then hook that again. Make sure that you've got it quite tight. Take it back round, oh. up again. Sorry, if you heard a noise there, that was the dog. <laughs> so sorry about that. There you go, so that's a larger one now. And really pull it tight so that you can then take it round a few times. It just gives you extra security then. And we'll get another little one. Now you do this all the way along all the way along the comb. And we'll just secure that again a few times. Another one of the larger ones on. It's very repetitive, but and it doesn't take too long to make either. And um, see the difference, can't you, in the, the larger pearl. So I sometimes take it back and over just to give that a little bit of extra security. Right down, there we go. Pop that on and then I'll show you now. I've done one so that you can actually see what we do next easier. So it's just a case of putting these on and just securing them like so. Okay, so I've got so take that all the way down the end of the um, comb, just repeating it a large one, a smaller one, and just as long as you take it round, wrap it round, you'll be fine. Um, it isn't, it isn't uh, complex, but just try and keep it tidy at the back 
so that so if you if you put if you wrap it round twice like that and up and over up and over up and over and then it gives you a tidy back if you can see there you've got quite a tidy back which fits into the back of the comb so that is how you do that row and then i've made another one here which oops sorry about that um, which is I've finished the first row, so I've now attached some more wire to the end, the beginning of the first row. I'll just snip that off. Excuse my, excuse my flyers, I've lost the rubber section off the other part of it, So, uh, but it's, it still works brilliantly, so that's fine. <laughs> So now I'm going to go again with the smaller pearls going across the first row that we did. So I'm going to pop on another one of the small pearls. Now in this row you only use the small pearls and you sit them on the top of the very first small one that you've actually worked with. And then just pushing it with the back of your finger, just push it really tight sit it on the top there and then take it round and then take it up and over to the next little pearl okay and take it to the back there and then pop on another another pearl oh smaller one nearly put a big one on then there we go pop on a smaller one again Okay, so you can see now you sit that there on top and hold it and just keep pushing it up and down and in between and then go round up through the bigger one because you don't want to go over the bigger one and then take it back down up again and then come back to your next small one small pill so this then gives you that it gives you that look um, which I think is really, really lovely, and it's and it's great for bridesmaids. You know, you could use it for your bridesmaids. You can use different colours. You don't have to do it all in the same as I'm doing. So just keep popping that up and down. There we go, and then you you will you will get that look all along your pearl. Okay, and there you go. And then as I said, you can always add a little bit of, if you want to, you can add a little bit of twist and, and maybe make something totally different just further on. Or you can even pop some pearls on that wire and you can give it like a half moon shape. So there's loads of different things you can do once you've actually got the basic techniques. Off you go. So um, I hope you enjoy having a go at some bridal jewellery. Take care and keep safe. Bye bye now.